Hi, welcome Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. Uh, this is Nisha, Mrs. Wild Tarot. Back to do you guys reading. If you find yourself resonating with this reading, please give me a like, share, and comment. Thank you guys for my true supporters out there. The people that like the video, stick around, show me love, give me super chat, book personals reading with me. I cannot do it without you guys. Okay, my my true number day one a ones out there. Okay, <laughs> hey Leo's, what's going on? So a good friend has some advice for you guys. You might have to have make a choice or something here. I don't even know if I'm being here long enough. Let's see something. Excuse me. Give me one moment. Okay, what is this? All right. How y'all doing? All right, so let's see who coming towards you, Leos, out there. Uh, if you'd like to follow me along on all of my social media, check out the information below as well. Like, what is this coming in here? <laughs> if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out my simplybookme.com, misswildturtles.com. Also, if you guys like to donate to me, check out my PayPal, my Cash App, or you can donate here on Super Chat. How y'all doing? Two of Swords and a Nine of Pentacles. All right, so someone is making a choice, okay? They are favoring you or choosing you. And they know what they're doing. They're going against it to choose you, okay? They could be going against a Libra or a Virgo to come towards you and give you a position, Leo, period, okay? Somebody got a tough decision to make, and they're choosing you. And they feel like, too, you guys, if you have the tough decision to make when it comes to somebody, it looks like they tell you to choose the Virgo. It's a better choice. Somebody could be double dealing and back crossing you, too, as well. So there's a decision here. That is being made when it comes to a promotion, a job, or something that you guys need or want and stuff. Okay, I see you guys getting more aff affluence and stuff as well. Okay, or you could be influencing somebody's decision. Somebody could be influencing your decision. We got the four of ones. Okay, could be an Aries. Okay, I see you guys home being stable or something about your stability coming through. We got the ten of pentacles. Yeah, whoever this is is choosing to give you the money versus a Virgo. Or vice versa. You will know what side you fall under. It, uh, under Somebody either is choosing to give you the money in spite of a Virgo or to spite a Virgo or a Virgo is getting the money. But I look like you guys, this person that's coming towards you, y'all could be a Virgo Leo cusper. So if you have Virgo moon, rising, Venus, north node, y'all can also be having this energy. But the nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, the four of one, somebody is giving y'all like money, a lot of money or a position, putting y'all in a position um, a power to make a lot of money. Ten of pentacles is your benefit. All right, so there's like either a hundred to a thousand dollars or more okay inheritance coming through also yeah there's some type of family benefit that y'all about to have due due to being married to somebody you could be married to they ass separated but y'all never got a divorce and if this person passed away you get their money their home their inheritance too i'm saying leo something like that could be happening or you could be taking care of some business there's a marriage here too though with the four ones okay community or your community got your back all right, so this is a lot of green here, but these are like the good pinnacles. We got the unexpected being the six of cups. So Scorpio may want to reconnect with y'all, somebody from your past show up, or something you did in the past is going to be paid for to you. Good acts of karma is coming towards you unexpectedly from unexpected sources and stuff as well. People, um, it's either Scorpio that got the sweets for you, but there's a lot of money coming in from a Scorpio too. Possibly this could be like a bonus check, okay, um, for an insurance payout or something. Uh, but we got the six of cups with bunny rabbits. Okay, so make it have kids or something, or something you did in the past six months ago, six days ago. We got the eight of pentacles. Wow. All right, so somebody like one, two, three, down Virgo. Okay, so the advice is to promote, master something. So you've been um tinkering with something, Leo, right now, and it look like that. This whatever you've been working on is about to bring you something major here financially as well. All right, we got a spider web. Now, somebody could be trying to get you caught up in some type of web of lies at your job um, with the tour source that you had nothing to do with, okay? So keep your nose down to the head. I, I said, I'm about to say keep your nose clean. But I feel like, too, with the Eight of Pentacles, there's, like, books and stacking up, okay? Like somebody could be asking you guys to recommend them something. The spider is underneath the table. I just noticed that in this picture. All right, so I feel like right underneath your nose, the Ten of Swords, yeah. Gemini. 
Uh, some of y'all, several people are about to get fired too. Okay, the ten of swords keep coming through, or the, a lot of things about the end. It could be a Gemini but that betrays you and stuff as well. This the the knives are not even in his back; they hanging over his um hanging over him. But you get the depiction betrayal. Um, but you know what I just heard, like the Holocaust. Okay, survivor. Um, yes. Is what I'm hearing. So, do y'all know somebody that survived the Holocaust or uh, what they call it, uh, genification or um, genocide? Somebody tried to genocide y'all, or they trying to like cut off your bloodline, your genes, or something here. It didn't work. All right. So, also somebody could break their silence. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody is like having a hard time stopping y'all from making money. All right. The money is coming. <laughs> or somebody's having a hard time stopping y'all from breeding, having kids, creating kids. You got nine kids. You got ten kids. I don't know how many kids you got, but you got enough to breed more. You got a grandbaby. <laughs> uh, we got here. The Queen of Pentacles. So there's definitely an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo coming towards y'all, or a Libra. But remember, the Two of Swords came. So double dealing, like I said. Mm -hmm. All right. So the Four of Ones is coming with the Page of Swords. So somebody stocking your home. And we got here the Ace of Swords. So, okay. So there's a contractual agreement that you guys may want to make sure that the foundation of the home look good. I'm hearing world road side appeal, curve side appeal. All right, your front yard look really good. Okay, planting, okay, landscaping. Somebody also may be trying to cut some shit out the garden or something. Or right. if you guys have a house, okay. Somebody is like over there picking something up, okay. Check your balcony. Somebody could be trying to steal your packages and shit. You got a spy watching y'all. Some uh, also this page of swords, ace of swords. There could be another air. Um, there could be an Aries that's telling y'all some truth or telling y'all something about an air sign, a Libra, or something like uh somebody planning on like not renewing a lease or signing a lease or something like that. Maybe y'all don't want to, okay, because you find something wrong. The spirit is saying check your house, check your lease, or check the uh documentation of um this as well. I feel like it's fine, but the page of swords makes me wonder what is the information somebody inquiring about. And it looked like um, they're trying to figure out if um, you are actually married, okay? Uh, <laughs> so if you went in an apartment single some, and somebody think you got other people living with you, somebody's fine to see how many people is actually in your home right now. Is it just you and your husband? Is it you and your husband and your children? Is it you and your husband and other people? Yeah, somebody's looking for that page of swords, ace of swords. Are you telling the truth? Queen of Wands, okay? Also, there's a money project coming through for you guys that you're going to be doing. You're going to be performing some type of work or arts and stuff. So somebody trying to figure out if you are like a prostitute or there's escorts coming into your house is what I just got or paid. Um, somebody paid to do this. Somebody could be paying somebody to make it seem like somebody is being escorted out of some shit or somebody want to escort some some type of information out because somebody wants to either extract money from y'all or get something for y'all. But with the Queen of Ones and the Ten of Pentacles being y'all benefit, there's a project or there's something that y'all doing really well, okay? That's y'all energy that's going to bring y'all money here, okay? So there could be a grand job, a job that you want, all right, that you enjoy doing, finances. I'm here in banking or something, and it's going to be working out in y'all favor. But the manager here got problems. Yeah, unexpected son, your kids got your back, or a Scorpio got your back, or the planetary environments got your back. The six of cups and the sun. It's because actually at the end, the core of this, you are not the guilty party, or you are not the person that's doing something, but somebody is trying to make it seem like it's like somebody don't care one way or another with the two of swords. Um, what the hell happened, but that's a bad choice. Somebody's coming towards you with the intention to fuck you over, discriminate against you, or put you in a compromising position. But with the six of cups and the sun car, you good. All right, we got the chariot. Also, it's something about your position, driving your car, your insurance and stuff. Um, making sure your documentation is up to date, okay? Oil change, okay? Registrations and stuff. License, y'all may be needing to get. All right, I'm just hearing paperwork that somebody checking on, trying to confirm or get. We got the five of cups and the ten of swords. Yeah, somebody saying they sorry, they regretful now. All right, because somebody could be losing here um, after fucking y'all over. So somebody could have took you for everything you got, and then or uh, now they broke and they need money. You ain't got no money. They ain't got no money. I don't know what's going on here. Or this is what they plan on doing. Now somebody sad and crying like, hey Leo, can I get some help? All right, we got here. Two of Pentacles and a page of Pentacles could be a Capricorn, or you can't pay your rent. Okay, could be management and stuff as well. Okay, 
Like somebody here is crazy and stuff. Cause I feel like somebody is trying to set you up, set your child up or put you in a situation that you innocent on and now they need money. <laughs> so we got, uh, and also some of y'all may be able to sue and get paid and now you own this shit. Yep. King of Sword. <laughs> Uh, you get the lawyer. This could be a judge that no, they wasn't supposed to judge or give somebody the kid or they didn't honor a order. OK, this could be an order of protection or order of custody, a chain of command, um, some type of order. Somebody did not follow here that they're about to get in trouble for it. You're going to get paid for it. Seven of swords, they lie. And we got the eight of ones that's coming in probably within a week. Okay, you're going to get information. Five of swords, there was racist or discrimination happening here too. But it's so undercover because, um, or it's so hidden because of the, the two of swords and the king of swords, this person position. Yeah, this, look, the Virgo finds out or the lawyer finds out or they discover who the fuck the snake is and how much this person been getting paid to do this type of shit, okay? So if y'all are being called to hire a detective but look at something or you know the numbers is not adding up like your numbers are wrong, all right, the company is stealing money, nickels and diamonds or some shit like that, then go ahead and do it, yeah, because it's a lot being lost or a lot being hid. Um, and it's hard to prove these cases. I think they say FBI they go to or they go to the federal level, state type of level energy, I'm saying, for some of y'all. Now, if y'all not dealing with this, this is your mom dealing with this, your father, your family, a, a family member, a child, somebody dealing with a, uh injustice here, a uh, decision that was made against them, and they was the innocent party. You may have to help them or something like that. But we got here the hangman, the ace of ones, and the three of ones. Also, somebody's blocking these uh, a reunion or celebration of marriage or something here. Somebody could be falsifying, don't want to marry. Like, you know how you need to order your married license, your marriage license, see if you prove that your marriage, they don't want to give it to you, or you just got delays around something like that. Like, you need something, and you can't get it and stuff as well. All right, we got here coins. Okay, money will be coming to you. I'll tell y'all, man, everybody got money. <laughs> I just love here doing this and stuff. Marriage, okay? Y'all could be married into money, too. Marrying a wealthy person, prenuptial agreement, I don't know. If you're about to get married, you got money, prenuptial agreement, whatever. You married, oh, well. So <laughs> protect your assets, <laughs> Taurus energy. So let's see. So, <laughs> maybe somebody don't got a prenuptial agreement. They got to pay. <laughs> we have skulls. Wow. Something secret, like secret child, too. Okay, so maybe somebody had a prenuptial agreement and the prenuptial agreement is voided when somebody is caught cheating somebody's been caught cheating so now they get the money because we got secret skull lovers affairs kids okay he and shit come through or there was like a contractual agreement in play but somebody is voided out because somebody fucked up they cheated they scammed they didn't do right okay that's why y'all getting money they did not honor the contract here this could be a leasing contract where um you could um what they call it break the lease or you can leave because you live in an unsanitary environment where it's not sustainable for human life whatever this contract is it's a hand secrets that can harm you um it's coming out and it looked like love and marriage and stuff so i figured like uh maybe it's a prenuptial agreement with two wealthy people and somebody cheated now you get half of it something like that could be like that but let's see what else is going on spiritual love fox we got rose lily hi lily <laughs> All right. <laughs> I heard leap pad. <laughs> right, so I feel like too something about a ticket and stuff. Okay. So somebody trying to turn a misdemeanor into a felony crime or somebody trying to take something to the next level. We got here the Fox spirit for you guys as well. Okay. So screwness and resourceful, especially in business, you're going to get the resources you need to continue to do business. Romance is in the air. Somebody does like you guys. We got happiness as well. So there's news that's going to make you smile. And we got hills, obstacles to overcome. I heard the hill highs eyes too. You know, something could be like radioactive. Okay. Or this could be like um, the doctor lying and this something could actually be like a uh, cancerous and stuff okay i'm hearing brain cancer for some and uh, somebody hears something okay that should have been either that could have saved somebody life or not it just depends in on how things come off okay because you know like if some people feel like if i would knew i may have had a better chance of survival but you guys kept lying to me all right that i was not sick or something shit. but the skulls is telling me somebody's over here trying to get some information from y'all could be a crazy or a sagittarius that that y'all got hand secrets that they holding information on y'all but with the sun and the 
six of cups. Somebody like, no, somebody believes y'all, Leo. We got a candle. You'll be shown the way in career. So, so there's a friend or somebody in y'all job that like got y'all back. All right. <laughs> Your career, you'll be lit up. Something's going to be lit up in your career. Somebody has career advice or somebody's going to give y'all career, career, um, yeah, career advice. All right, I was thinking of something else. <laughs> they could give y'all a lead to a career a recommendations for a lead and stuff as well, especially if they're a prominent person. I know I used to always ask my bosses and managers for them to letters of recommendation. All right, so someone could give you guys a letter of recommendation to a prominent job or position or something. Okay, they could have pull like that as well, too. We got here trying to get out of a situation, pal. Okay, bye. <laughs> and we got thrown position of authority. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like somebody being dethroned or somebody retiring or somebody need to retire. Sometimes I feel like people need to get fired, put in jail, especially when these judges and these uh, people that's in position of prominence that had the ability to fuck up your life for years. They do that shit and all they can do is let them retire. So somebody could be retiring and shit. <laughs> Because <laughs> somebody that did that to me, I called back. I'm like, what y'all gonna do with the woman and everything? And they was like, oh, she retired. I said, y'all let her retire. She didn't get fired. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, they let them motherfuckers retire. Some of these people don't deserve to be retired. They deserve to be in jail. We got here, Diamond. You will be giving or receiving a precious gift. <laughs> All right, so somebody's gonna get y'all a gift. I'm like, wait. Okay, so somebody want y'all to work harder for something. You're like, to hell with that shit. All right, broken rings. Okay, yeah, diamonds. We got your parting ways, either romantic or business wise. Okay, some y'all letting go of a partner, uh, getting a new partner too. And we got the boots and stuff. All right, you know how they say you buy somebody a pair of boots, they walk all over you. Okay, so I feel like y'all were kind to somebody and they took your kindness for weakness or whatever. Increase your effort if you want to achieve your goals and stuff. So you put in more work, okay, or your workload is getting heavier. Okay, it's getting late. All right, page one, y'all got good news coming in. All right, so if you want somebody, this motherfucker here, the, uh, <laughs> I feel like y'all going to get news about this, okay? I feel like y'all going to be happy too, okay? Because especially if you're an innocent bystander and you got uh, pulled in, okay? You know how they say one sour apple, one bad apple make the months bad. You guys may have got pulled in some to somebody other other people bullshit and you might have only been the only innocent one here okay i don't know but it looked like that page of ones good news coming to y'all about people getting terminated jobs ending things are over okay five of cups yeah because i'll be saying that shit all day anyways it don't bother me i could rant about it and complain and start writing now beat the drums for me I'm not America, sweetheart. Now, what you want from me? <laughs> All right, we're going to burn this motherfucking town down. Okay. <laughs> I'm not America's sweetheart. Okay. Some of be playing this shit. <laughs> so, somebody could be wanting y'all to act a certain way. And when you don't act a certain way, you could be punished by that shit. All right. And they do unusual punishments and shit because they had the power. I felt like that. I went in the, I went in the courthouse happy and shit and chipper like, Keep to Malou, my darling. I was in a courthouse and shit, and that motherfucker was like, boom, you ain't listening because I'm just coming in here smiling and happy. I didn't even do nothing wrong, Judge. I showed up. <laughs> I showed up. I paid my debt. <laughs> she was just mad because I showed up happy <laughs> and smiling. You don't get to smile in my courtroom. I'm like, what the hell? My debt is paid, Judge. <laughs> they don't care. They be mad. That motherfucker was mad at me. She said, you don't show up and smile. I'm like, damn. I like I I, I I grab my heart like am I going to jail? What I do wrong? <laughs> I don't know what's happening and stuff. That's that type of energy. That two of swords and that and that uh, queen of swords. That ten of swords. Like somebody just mad because y'all showing up and y'all looking good, y'all smiling, y'all youthful, and they just want to rule badly on you because you're doing well in Leo and stuff. But I was I was in there like man, what? I mean, everything was taken care of. She was just like ready to like hit the gavel. <laughs> gavel. <laughs> These motherfuckers is not all good. They not all bad either. But most of they ass don't play fair, and that's just the truth. <laughs> we got here breaking bad habits, self acceptance. Okay, excellent mental health and letting go of your vices. Okay, so some of y'all going cold turkey, letting something go. Okay, actually, if y'all like let some, I don't know what y'all letting go, but whatever habit that y'all break. Or whatever habit that y'all broken, it's like smoking cigarettes, right? Drinking. That's, you know, you add it up over the years. It costs you a lot of money. And that's money you saving now, okay? 
whatever you like you know you could be a shopaholic too shit everything is addiction okay fool you taking you being more mindful for whatever y'all doing okay breaking bad habits um money habits with the trinket five because you're manifesting money and income so if you was a spendthrift or you just spent your money really nilly i'm not saying that y'all not still breaking but it's almost like y'all managing your money well okay somebody could be mad about this like you're not so quick to just like be generous because you guys ruin generosity right you might like to give money to kids people okay the needy and stuff you're like nah you know let me think about this okay I'm not saying that y'all still can't give y'all charitable work here but i feel like you guys are doing well i also like i said something you did in the past six of cups the sun card something is being paid forward to you now you're going to see the money start to manifest because you're not putting your money your time and energy into bad people anything yeah your eyes are open or something are you going to start saying shit and people for who they truly are and what you should and should not be given to people at an appropriate time so all right okay i'm surprised the six of pentacles didn't come on and stuff i <laughs> So um, somebody is also trying to close down y'all third eye because somebody don't want y'all to see them for who they truly are, an uh, asshole, okay, or a bias, a bigot, okay, racist, all right, favoritism is being shown here to somebody, and somebody don't want you guys to see that, but I feel like you guys are going to see it anyway, um, or your kids, okay? Your kids can feel this way, okay? Or your mama, you like, you know, I know you like your sister better than me, I know you like brother better than me. There is favoritism here. We got the son, but it's okay. <laughs> baby it's all right hoo, hoo. we got here the golden energy of the sun bring fame and fortune okay so you guys are gonna find that you guys are like your own little fame okay your own little niche your niche what they call it okay me niche <laughs> konnichiwa hello how y'all doing <laughs> y'all gonna find your own little niche here <laughs> And y'all gonna be recognized for something that y'all do. But I feel like y'all got beautiful eyes, okay? Maybe you finding a certain color of contact. I like gray contact. I actually better go get some gray contacts and stuff. Blue contacts, they too dark and stuff. Uh, I like uh, hazel contacts. I do like the ones that they do the blending and stuff for them, okay? Hazel green, okay? But I love gray contacts. They look blue, though. But you know what I'm saying? So something about your Irish or your eyes, okay? Some y'all actually may start to get your vision back 2020, go to the doctor and stuff as well. I mean, like your visions, your dreams, what you want, what you're going after. Do you want kids? Do you don't want kids? Like you're doing it grand and big and stuff, okay? You're shining. <laughs> we have here tonight, be brave and be honest, okay? Take a, It takes a child, it takes a fool to fall in love, <laughs> All right. Anyway, so y'all being brave about this. Oh, so let me y'all might be knighted. Okay. I'm telling y'all that's a position here for y'all that's coming through as well. Um, so the knights. I was talking about doing um what I was um uh, what we got out here, the golden knights and shit. <laughs> I was talking about doing sports and divination here, okay? But some something's gonna require y'all to be brave. I feel like y'all gonna be able to do it anyways, okay? So yeah, be brave and true. I feel like too, you come forward to say something, or um, and because you were truthful, you got punished for it. That's gonna be rewarded because that that should be a uh, lie too. They be saying that shit. Oh, just gotta be honest, please. Even when you honest, they still punish you. And I am a testimony for that shit. They will use that shit against you, too, with this Libra energy. Anything you say can't be used against you in a court of law. Yes, that's also true. Be, be brave and honest, but be smart and true, too, okay? I, like they say, where my lawyer at? If y'all need to say, hey, I need to talk to a lawyer or invoke some damn, uh, you got rights for a reason, constitutional rights, wherever you live at, invoke them rights and stuff because people, they take advantage of the kids. They take advantage of the innocent. They take advantage of the weak and stuff. I'm here to speak on it. Cause I experienced it and stuff. You think you up there being honest, but docking, but but you know, honor your aunt. They don't give a damn. It's a money game. <laughs> we got here. Yeah, the hunter track down your fears and desires and stuff. So you guys are tracking down something or something that you want. All right, so hunter. Mm. <laughs> Aries, okay, so yeah, going after your, uh, going after what you want. I'm hearing crowdfunding or building something up, go fund me, okay, whatever. I feel like it's a need for you guys to ask for what you want, or you're going to start asking for what you want unapologetically, okay? Yeah, because uh, you're going to also get your hunt, okay? You're also going to get this Aries, or you're going to score something that you've been looking after, okay? This business deal is what I'm saying, because he got a bow and arrow in his hand. So you on target, okay? Target practice could be something that y'all also doing too. 
we got here medicine mother honor your inner knowing yeah that's what i'm saying some of y'all too uh you you were honest with a doctor you were honest with somebody but somebody's not being honest with y'all about something as well okay so you got to take matters into your own hand it's almost like you got to advocate for your own health your mental health physical health or something like this but you know something ain't right then under that feeling speak up and say something also it's almost like i need a new doctor or i need a new lawyer or i need to self-represent myself because you are not doing a good job like this is might need to be spoken up okay you could be doing this for your kids too, okay? For some of y'all, your kids need a better representation, a better advocate, a better person, you know, because we have these programs out here that's supposed to help us, but most of the time, these people be socially profiling us no matter what we look like, and they don't give us the quality of service that we need, and then we got to advocate for ourselves. And a lot of time in the medical field, we are judged by, uh, especially those of indigenous and um, skin by the uh white melanin okay white skin and yes we need more and i think i see doctors on TikToks and stuff and nurses that be um outing that and showing that stuff as well to how um we are measured by uh black people's skin is measured by white people and it's different and stuff and so sometimes when they, they ask us if we're in pain and we tell them we're in pain they think we don't feel pain the same way or some shit like that that has been eradicated so maybe you are telling somebody look my kid is in pain my kid is hurting and my kid need help and somebody's ignoring you so you need an advocate and this can end up turning into a lawsuit too okay so over the next couple of days somebody could be ignoring something that you're telling that like i feel something and you're not paying attention to me okay <laughs> so it's like you got to call somebody or do something no matter where you at and what color you are but i do see you guys honoring some type of inner knowing here when it comes this could be like an ear okay ear infection and something like that <laughs> let's see what else is going on so yeah speaking up is going to be inherently true here and a lot of times people lying people asking the truth okay where does it hurt we got warrior be fearless and stand strong wow who are y'all advocating for <laughs> somebody's advocating for y'all too okay as well sometimes you're too weak to say it for yourself or i'm not saying y'all weak because y'all rule the strength card but there is a warrior in y'all reading or there is somebody a mama bear papa bear or somebody like don't fuck with my leo or don't fuck with my child i need some help and i need it now okay <laughs> all right so this could be like some type of tribal war as well as what i'm hearing as well all right, let's see what's going on. Um, or this could be like uh depending on who where y'all at, be fearless and stand strong. Okay, seven to ones, yeah. Draw the line. I draw the line here, you know what I'm saying? It's almost too like when you go to a doctor and, or when you're dealing with the police and you're dealing with the law and they like, do you want a woman, a woman officer to like pat you down and check you and stuff? Or do you want a man officer to t um, pat you down and check you? And it's so funny because I think it was a gay, uh, trans, transgender um, guy that was cracking up time about every time he goes to TSA because <laughs> he a transgender man that the TSA guys got to pat him down even though he looked like a woman. <laughs> He's like, there'd be some bullshit, okay? So this could be like something like that too as well, simply speaking up on what type of gender that you want to help you, okay? No, I prefer a man doctor. I prefer a woman doctor, a white doctor, a black doctor. You know, sometimes that shit get touchy touchy situation political situation but somebody got to say it okay you're like no i want a guy i want a guy to do this or i want a male doctor to deal with my male son or i want a female doctor to deal with my female daughter or some shit like that okay? i don't know why this coming through something about yeah i feel like somebody crossing the line here all right so next it was funny when he was talking about it too i was cracking up <laughs> I got my eyes on you, so somebody definitely checking y'all out, Leo. They keep their eyes on you, okay? We got here religion over everything, okay? So somebody could be using that as a tactic to um, to get away with things. <laughs> That's another one that people use to, like, beat you over the head with. We got religions over everything, tired of finding this connection, and we got feeling, re reciprocated feeling. So if there's, like, um, this could be, like, a multicultural racial thing, too, where you black and white. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Crossing lines and stuff. People be mad and shit. All right. So, I see you guys um, focusing on your religion. Somebody's telling you they focusing on their religion. All right. Somebody's tired of finding the connection or tired of hiding or something here. All right. This is the T. So, they coming for Papa with the Rolling Stone. Will you marry me? Secret rendezvous. And we got It's Not Love. Okay. So, 
somebody's in something lying about who they truly are or somebody's lying about what they truly want and stuff but they have a hard time fighting or standing up for themselves i'm getting some bullying and stuff in here too a little bit uh so somebody a bully too <laughs> but yeah somebody gonna ask y'all can they marry y'all <laughs> some of y'all so you're gonna find out somebody just like homeless so they don't got nowhere to live and they don't know where they're going and stuff like that they're like where the hell am i at okay um so somebody may be staying with friends and family or somebody may need a place to crash and stuff as well um somebody also if so, so say if y'all was dealing with a friend that was dealing like this they finally got their stuff together they got married you ain't seen them for two or three years you run into them at the grocery store at the corner store in town and they like hey leo remember when i was struggling you let me bunk on your bed a couple years ago i'm doing well and boom here you go pay it for it like i'm getting that type of scenario where y'all may have helped a friend and now they cleaned up their life okay they off the drugs they off the streets they done got married they got a woman they got a man and now they like seeing y'all and they're like hey he got a couple of dollars with y'all like where this come from okay the proposal in the world card ten of cups in the world all right so somebody could be watching a proposal on tv are y'all watching tv all right <laughs> say come let's see ten of cups spicy could be proposing to y'all all right as well all right or somebody looking for a ring all right you want to take a hand we got quality time. They go to Six of Pentacles. We got here the Six of Cups, Butterfly. And we got the uh, Six of Swords, 666 and stuff. I was just looking at my flowers and stuff as well. All right, Six are Peace and Harmony. They rule by, it's ruled by Venus and stuff. So there's some Taurus or there it could be a Libra that want Peace and Harmony with y'all. But somebody is looking at something. They now may see the beauty or the quality and what you've been fighting for, Okay. I'm hearing like protect the youth. <laughs> All right, so youth counselor for some of y'all. Um, I don't know. I'm just getting like a lot. Of, well, you guys rule the fifth house. You rule kids. You rule these type of things and stuff as well. So somebody's finally seeing the beauty of something. You got hopelessly romantic cancer, king of cups, Pisces, Scorpio as well. That's seeing y'all. Your opposite sign Aquarius and Taurus as well. All right, so yeah, you give me butterflies. So somebody, oh my god, every time somebody see y'all, okay. Somebody is trying to figure out how they can get more time with y'all too. Okay, how can I get time with Leo? Um, so we could discuss things and move things forward and stuff. Yeah, somebody wants to balance things out with y'all. The limo. Somebody actually want to pull up in style. So I don't know if somebody's about to surprise y'all. Okay, <laughs> with a mansion. Okay, <laughs> wow. What are we going to? <laughs> what are we going to, Leo? <laughs> All right. We gonna be on TV, mama. <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like somebody. That, I I never forgive this guy I met <laughs> that pulled up to my sister's house just like this in the limo and took us out on the strip and we just chilling and stuff. I was like, dang, he coming to pick me up and it was a limousine. I was like, this motherfucker that can't pick me up in a limousine. I thought I was just about to get in the car and just go kick it, <laughs> smoke a little, drink a little party a little not thinking i was going in a limo okay <laughs> i don't know so somebody could be like pulling out all the stunts okay we got cancer and we got aries energy okay so you guys could have a staycation what is them timeshares or something i right, tahiti village or something y'all going somewhere um i feel like too it's going to be fun here the mansion okay we got here the devil okay but it's a capricorn that's about to come out the blue pissed off at y'all or this a capricorn is playing the devil's advocate like this capricorn don't want y'all to be happy the devil just showed up okay or it's a capricorn stocking y'all asses they like you ain't about to take your ass on that date over my dead body okay they got fire in their eyes they mad and shit we got here daydreaming okay page of, uh page of blue so somebody I don't know, like somebody may be trying to cause you to have some type of flu or somebody trying the flu. Ooh. Somebody could be trying to make y'all sick too. I wouldn't trust a motherfucker, but you know, the flu. Oh, you under the weather? I did that shit to you. <laughs> All right, so Paige of Cuss is telling me that somebody wants to make y'all offer, but I feel like somebody might be flaky and shit. We got here, lead the way, be the leader, show others how it's done. You can help others. Okay, so yeah, so so follow the leader. Okay, anything you can do, I can do better. No, you can't. Yes, I can't. Nobody else in here doing this shit. Who the king of swords? Okay, and the two of swords. It's a Libra that is competing with y'all. I'm telling y'all, this judge, this uh racist, this is a racist in this reading. I don't care. 
Uh, we got the two of swords and we got the king of swords. I said, who having a hard time following y'all? Uh, yeah, somebody's like making rules. Like somebody's making their own rules, breaking the rules, fucking up the rules just so y'all can't win, okay? Somebody like refuse to let y'all get ahead, okay? Because you are a leader. Well, you naturally rule that shit anyways, okay? We got to follow your own good advice. Trust yourself and know that you know what's best for you, okay? So somebody like pissed off because you won't listen to their fucking um, bad decision making, bad decision making. No. Fuck that air sign. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Leo, okay? <laughs> I don't care who that is. Fuck that lawyer, okay? Fuck that judge. I can't say that like that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever somebody is saying, they lying to you guys and stuff. But this is a lawyer energy. But it could be a judge. If we get, like, the judgment card, it's more to me like an attorney here that you may be like, mm, I don't trust your ass, okay? Let me go do my own research and stuff, okay? <laughs> we got here. Yeah, you are rare and you are fair. I was about to say, you are rare and fair, Okay. <laughs> Oh shit. You are a rare find indeed. So yeah, something about you that makes you unique and somebody doesn't like that as well. And she likes she got a maid dress on and stuff, okay? So you know what I'm hearing? So <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this and stuff. So if somebody has like a maid here because we got the mansion and stuff. And it's giving me that like uh, alternate universe energy where somebody wants to find out if your maid is an illegal immigrant so they can send your maid away or somebody. Is is the people you're living with you documented American, um, documented citizens, okay? Because it, it depends on where you at in the world. I don't know if y'all got a maid or something or y'all got somebody that comes around that look like they could like may not have a green card somebody is like fucking nosy as hell all right <laughs> there's not many people like you and stuff so you probably knew in town or you knew in a neighborhood or somebody's new and somebody checking out like hmm, let me go do some work and see what this person got going on and stuff as well like somebody's pulling rank or pulling their like professional colleagues and some shit and they just going above their pay grade okay or abusing their power either or i'm telling y'all this crazy the seven of swords in line about this shit, okay? This motherfucker slick. So if this is a business associate, is this somebody that you're doing business with? I feel like you are like, mm, something ain't right about that goddamn character. This Aquarius, <laughs> y'all think you trust this Aquarius or something like that? This Aquarius Lib Libra and stuff? Because you probably shouldn't. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, because they're, they don't want you guys to be successful, period. They don't want you to stand alone as well. I, I got Russian. I don't know why. Port Portuguese. Also, I got Portuguese. <laughs> I should spend a map and see what else might show up <laughs> randomly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles is why they're telling y'all this person is like on some bullshit. Basically, too, you guys are your own. You good at like self management, self improvement as well. And somebody doesn't like that. Somebody don't even like your garnet, okay, or the clothes that you wear and stuff sabotage is what I heard. So yeah, you are doing something wonderful here, 38, 10, 12. All right, so I feel like there's a Sagittarius possibly too that is upset with y'all and don't want y'all to do something. Um, there's a Pisces that's like listening to, okay, intently and stuff. They like soaking it all up, okay? What else you got to say, Leo? <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> what else is like? All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm hearing um, your dreams, okay? Something to, what is the herb that helps you enhance your psychic abilities where you could go into a, a trans state? Yeah. Forget who you are. Okay. So somebody wants you to know, um, forget that you, uh, um, that you are brave, like a lion, you know, you're strong. Okay. Um, you have endurance. Okay. Or you out during the competition, somebody like shit. I, somebody wants you guys to forget like your color, your race, your heritage, where you came from. I, uh, if you're a native, okay, so you may claim all of your uh, nationalities, okay, your bloodlines. I don't know. I say forget who you are. It was at the bottom though. So somebody like, no, that's not who you are. You supposed to act like this, and you're not acting like how somebody wants you to act, okay? <laughs> I just got that Kanye quest. Yeah, uh, motherfucker, act niggerish. <laughs> They want you to act like that, okay? <laughs> act like you know. And we got the tensions out, but you guys are like a perfect balance, okay? <laughs> Sagittarius tensions, okay? Angel. So also y'all getting some type of say. Y'all getting saved for something? <laughs> I ghetto, okay? When you say nigger issues, you mean ghetto, ignorant, okay? Um, stupid, okay? Belittling is what I take from that red word, okay? When they be saying that. <laughs> oh, we here. We have here, okay? Higher consciousness, okay? Gutsu cola. All right. 
y'all, I need to know if I'm pronouncing this word right. I'm going to put it up in here, but it looks like it's uh, Mercury and um, the moon and stuff. Oh, yeah. So you guys are and tapped in. Like, you could read people's thoughts. So you guys can have Pisces highly aspected. And, like, people like, damn, is Leo reading my mind? Do Leo know what the fuck I'm thinking right now? Okay. <laughs> You see how they meditating here as well. Higher conscious coming through for you guys as well. All right. So this is the herb that you guys can work with to um mean to say open your third eye, your intuition right now. Okay. So I feel like you guys are popping, okay, or your predictions are on point or you on target, okay? You are not missing as well. Yeah, I think I got it right. Is that Mercury and Moon? Or Mercury and the Moon. And with Mercury and the Moon, it rules like detectives, okay. People that is like um that. That Scorpio type of energy, like you wonder why people just telling you they damn secrets, okay? So you might find that people may just come spill to you shit that you don't even want to know right now, okay? You're like, wait a minute, huh? <laughs> uh, you know, I've been uh, like, somebody might come to you like, I've been sober for five years, Leo. You're like, who are you? You know what I'm saying? And, and but um, it could be just spirit uh, message telling you that you know what, you still you headed in the right um, direction. All right, you're on the right track. Keep going and stuff, okay? That could be like an internal confirmation for you when somebody walk up and say, man, I've been sober for five years off of something. And who knows? No, nobody know you did like cocaine or crack or you was an alcoholic and you smoked cigarette. But this person just came to confirm that you're doing good and like keep going and stuff like that. You know, that's what I'm getting. I'm not saying everybody dealing that because some people ain't never did drugs and stuff or um or anything. But it could have been something like somebody like, man, I finally got my first job. I've been on it for a year. You having a conversation. And you're like, man, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Because you've never been able to hold down a job longer than six months. So you're always getting terminated. Somebody's just like doing some type of confirmations like that. Okay. Just through, com just, just through conversations and stuff like that. This lead. Okay. Or maybe this friend tell you that as well. So one is seven, 17. I had to go look at this shit too. This is a new one for me. All right. Astrology Destiny. <laughs> All right, so it's lit up. Okay, so yeah, you guys are following y'all destiny. I, right now, um, you guys are like going to be at the right place at the right time, at the right moment to continue to win. Destiny, the will, okay, activation. Um, I'm hearing like coins or dollars or currency. You guys are learning different currency or it's a good time to learn different currency in different places. The money, <laughs> I'm not saying pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, okay, uh, whatever this is, pounds, okay, euros, okay. Uh, what is a different type of currency? I'm, I'm, some of y'all are learning that or somebody wants to teach you. Numerology, yeah, right on point. Your numbers is like phenomenal, okay. Something like a phenomenon. <laughs> Precision. Okay. So timing is everything and you're really good at it right now. Or you really right where you need to be at right on time with the numbers. Okay. Your dates, your births. Okay. Yeah. On target. Wow. How you like me now, pretty baby. So I feel like your perfect number, you meeting a goal, financial goal. Congratulations. Some of you guys is going to take you guys to Virgo season to meet that financial goal or Sagittarius season. So get yourself anywhere from three to six months to actually nail that shit into the thing. OK, so we're looking far out. And the Tempters is telling me, though, you guys in the Nine of Pentacles, you're going to get them numbers. Are you going to get that desired outcome that you've been looking for? Alchemy is changing a bad situation into something good. Sagittarius energy. And we got Olga. I'm telling y'all, something about numbers, counting. All right, nature is going to give y'all also clues as well. Like, these are like lines I know depending on how many there are and stuff. You guys could be Celtic as well. Um, but this telling me that you guys are going to be able to like walk the ground. You may see something even like spray painted on the ground that tells you something. It's like going to be messages everywhere. I watch everything and see it too. I was just looking at the sand and stuff, like quicksand. So if you think you was drowning this stuff, you're not going to be drowning. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and then we got communication. Okay, so communi it's like, okay, so you guys could be creating a new language and stuff. <laughs> if y'all think y'all want to create a new language, because I'll be thinking uh, like uh, way out there. But, you know, of course, it's patents and stuff like that. Or you could be adding on to a language too, Okay. Because I thought about creating a new language, the first person that came to my mind was like Bill Cosby, how you trying to say black people, you know, the ghetto language, whatever. I don't care what y'all doing, but that's what I'm comparing it to when I thought about creating a new language, a new communication style. 
and stuff. I thought about Bill Cosby and stuff, how he did it for black people, okay, or whatever that thing was he was saying. I don't even know it that, but I know that he like created the letter um, language and stuff. So I feel like some of y'all also encyclopedia, okay. Um, you know something about everything there is to know about numerology and astrology, and you're going to be able to like break this down in a more natural form or do it way more um, more easier and show people how to combine the two together and stuff. And a lot of people do it. I think her name was Suzanne. Um, I know it's Suzanne Miller and then it's Susan, uh, Suzanne White. Um, she combined. I'm a cancer pig, right? She combined cancer, the Western astrology with the Eastern astrology, you know what I'm saying, and put it together. So some of y'all may actually add a third spin on it, okay? So cancer astrology, all right? So cancer, I'm a pig, and then I'm a life path number five, and you put it all together where people can learn all of that inside an app or something that you teach and stuff as well, all right? So there's a new way to do it, or just condensed in one place where you don't go have to go look everywhere to find this information. This could just be skillfully schooling too as well because that's what Sagittarius rule, the guru. Okay, so some of you guys are becoming gurus in your field and people are looking up to you guys and stuff and they want to talk about what you're doing, okay, and how you achieve this goal in your life as well. <laughs> that's, I'm putting mine together. <laughs> ah! Cancer pigs is funny and stuff, okay. Um, but I just gave y'all my three and stuff, but you're going to figure that. And I think it's another one that I just learned about, like some people are generators and stuff, doers. And what's the other one? <laughs> I'm about to say an alternator. <laughs> That's on the car. Okay. <laughs> I, I like to have fun and stuff. But y'all, y'all could be alternating something back and forth as well. Okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right. So yeah, lift off. Some of y'all, oh, I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure and passion. So if you're not passionate about it, okay, um, the sun goddess is coming up. Yeah, y'all be showing all in y'all reading. Y'all like, yeah, stroke my ego just a little bit more, okay? Um, Phoenix and stuff. <laughs> I'm getting, what's her name? Um, what was he when he was letting her go? Jean. Is it uh, uh, X-Men? Why I'm getting like that, Jean? Okay, somebody about to be unleashed. <laughs> all right, let's see. We got a little star, the divine, my inner child is whole and complete. So I feel like too something that y'all y'all finally can relax because you completed something as well. Something you've been praying for as um it's going to come to come through for you guys, okay? I don't know what you've been praying for, but the jade is the heart. It heals the heart. Okay, very lucky, very prosperous. Uh, you've been um, praying for prosperity and luck. Okay, kids and new beginnings. Okay, heal the world. Okay, we are the world. I mean, we need a lot more prayers out there too, but <laughs> we have here the temple. So it could be your body. Okay, maybe you've been um, praying for like healing of your whole being. Okay, home. I no longer search outside myself for home. So something is right at home or something is right within you guys. Please drop a like, share and comment. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.